Unearthing Amazon's Lost Civilizations. A Drone Expedition. A raw dirt road slices across a buried glyph as the host approaches. He kneels by fresh skid marks, tracing grooves left by timber trucks. He opens a tablet, revealing before and after LIDAR overlays of the site. He explains evidence supporting indigenous claims amid slow-moving cases. He steps aside, revealing the full glyph bisected by the road cut. Back in studio, the host faces camera beside a console of milestones. He invites viewers to subscribe and ring the bell to fund flights. He points to a pinned route map, promising new independent expeditions. He outlines how every click moves the public atlas closer to launch. A final, steady look. He thanks viewers and promises the next field story. At the Tapajos Riverbank, the team prepares an orange drone for flight. Host explains the mission, mapping above the upper Tapajos with LiDAR. Daniel calls out the checklist as Host confirms telemetry on the laptop. With a thumbs up, the rotors spool, and the drone lifts from the tarp. Host steps aside, noting the laptop awaits the first LiDAR tiles. Inside a canvas tent, tiles begin to render as the team leans in. Host peers over their shoulders as straight lines sharpen into view. A 20-meter causeway appears dead flat across multiple tiles silence follows. Host whispers, a geometric earthwork, the size of 12 soccer fields. Christopher saves the tile set and cues the next flight's data. From a bluff above the forest, Host frames the lattice of ancient causeways. He traces connections linking at least 19 major sites across ridges. He compares the pattern to a suburb with cul-de-sacs, centuries ahead of contact. He widens out, stressing urban sprawl, woven into forest topography. At a lab bench, Host lifts a labeled terra preta sample beside pottery shards. He explains engineered black earth, rich with bones and charcoal, built to last. He gestures to a map, hinting at trade routes, possibly reaching the Andes. Terra Preta suggests sustainable forest management, not slash and burn scarcity. In a dim archive, Ho scrolls microfilm of early expedition notes. He reads reports of white cities and pauses at ornate hand-drawn maps. He steps to a corkboard of satellite printouts, searching for faint causeways. Once LIDAR reveals them, even dry season images whisper their outlines. Welcome hidden cities beneath the Amazon, revealed by light. Bigger than Madrid, intact for centuries found without a single shovel. All from a lunchbox-sized, sensor riding under a drone. Discovery, technology, and a race against time, that's our journey today. Stay with me. What you'll see will change how you read forests. For decades, textbooks called the Amazon a counterfeit paradise. Sparse maps painted people as footnotes to the forest. Now, LiDAR tiles reveal ridges, plazas, and ordered causeways. The story is not emptiness, it's architecture hidden in plain sight. Let's put the old narrative beside the new evidence. At first light, LiDAR threads between leaves to read the ground. This lunchbox sensor fires pulses that bounce back from the earth. Here's a 20-centimeter terrace ridge hidden under 50 meters of foliage. Infrared pulses, flight lines, and patience. This is how we see cities. From this edge, we're about to peel back the forest's curtain. LiDAR is just timing light, photon out, photon back, distance solved. Multiply by the speed of light, stack millions of returns, build a map. From 600 meters down to 60, resolution jumps and costs drop. Accuracy to a thumb's width, this is architecture-grade measurement. With parts like these, the forest becomes legible to engineers and historians. Let's talk. Budgets flying low doesn't have to break the bank. Crude 100 square kilometers, $250,000. A coffee break equals 5 hectares, mapped at dense point spacing. Scale by sorties, not by burn rate. That's how discovery accelerates.